The Montana legislature passed a number of bills last year in an effort to reduce the state's prison population. But a new report out today from the Montana Office of the American Civil Liberties Union claims probation and parole programs still send too many people to prison and warrant a new review. MTN's Mike Dennison reports. In Montana, some 8,000 criminal offenders are on probation or parole, meaning they're not in prison but still supervised by the State Department of Corrections. Each year, hundreds of them are sent to prison for violating terms of their release. The American Civil Liberties Union says 75 to 80 percent of those are for technical violations, such as failing a treatment program or not immediately getting a job. We're seeing that individuals are set up to fail. Um, there's just these high expectations that individuals can't meet on probation or parole, and they're having strikes against them, and then they're being returned to our prison systems. The ACLU report released Monday says parolees often can't pay for or get access to treatment programs or even housing that can help them succeed. Nearly 100 people involved in the system answered questionnaires from the ACLU. One of them, Melissa Smiley of Great Falls, spoke to reporters Monday. She said probation and parole officers often stood in her way when she got out of custody rather than help her outside of prison. Never once did they say, gee, you want to go to college, that's great. They said, you don't get to go to college because you're a fellow. You don't get food stamps because your probation officer thinks you should go back to jail. Smiley eventually got a degree in paralegal studies and is now employed. The report recommends several changes, such as more access to mental health treatment in rural areas and less rigorous rules for certain offenders. Because so many people who are coming out of prison want to be part of the community again, and they're just faced with so many barriers to doing that. State Corrections Director Reg Michael says it would be premature to comment on a report he's not yet read, but that the agency is committed to helping communities in need. While parole and probation programs are run by the State Department of Corrections, most of the proposals by the ACLU are outside the power of the department to fix, like the setting of conditions or funding of treatment programs. It will be up to the legislature to make those policy decisions. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Thank you, Mike. Now, some of the reforms that were passed by the Montana legislature last year do attempt to shorten the time of supervision for people on parole.